you're coming with a dry stick there. Uh, we went out for a little snowmobile ride and uh, we're going to have a boil up and I picked this back because oh, I've got a nice dry stick there. And we're going to light a fire over here and have a boil up. Some fish and brews in the, in the scotch bowl. Jill's getting some kindling there and take line to warm up the fish and brew so we're just going to use these lying dry ones for the base and that'll be just part of the fire too you know so so that's the start good work boys they're getting some wood there for their fire they're gonna have a fire their own i got the base down so joe's gonna get the fire going there once she's at that i'm gonna get a stick here for for the pot and the kibble so everything is coming along nicely Them limbs will get some uh, sticks for roasting as well from this one, and I know for not here just for the for the pot to hang on. Yeah. And this one is also lined up uh, for kittle sticks. That's perfect. All right, we got the kittle and the scotch bowl on there, and uh, right here I got some vegetable oil. I want to get that in the pot there first. That's just some vegetable oil. Not no big lot. I use all that get the heat up there a little bit. All right, guys, this here's some uh, diced up salt pork, and oil is hot there now, so. Now this uh, doiced up pork, I'm going to fry it till it turns brown, and then when it's browned up we call that scrunchings. Well, we got one fire going over here, uh, roasting up marshmallows and making s'mores. <laughs> and hot shit was on over here. And before, you know, uh, someone asked me why do I use the bow saws? I use them because uh, well, I also got a couple for the kids as well, and I'm trying to learn them, you know, how to use them, and they're getting a little better at it all the time. I had this uh, pork rind, forgot to put that in too, so it's showing in there now. And a little platform there to, to lodge the pot on once. You can see there's a bit of grease by the pork there as well. I'm gonna, I'll dip off some of that at once, but I'll leave the beer yet. All right, the pork looks pretty good there. Now I'm gonna add some onions. I got more than this. This is just and another few onions and. The kettle is cooked as well, so I'm gonna get here after now. Ooh. Do we pour or? Oh yeah. 
Oh, the smell coming up. It smells really good. Now, I'm just going to slowly saute the onions, you know, until they turn a nice brown color. Just slowly do it, does it there now. Alright guys, this here is corn codfish and I'll put a link in the description to show you how I made this codfish and uh, we'll be putting this in pretty soon. This here is bruised hard bread that I've uh, been soaked overnight and another time I'll do a more in-depth video on soaking bruise and stuff. Uh, hard bread, uh, you could soak them uh, the cakes round or you could break them apart and actually breaking them apart refers to as bruising the bread so that's what it because of fish and brews and uh, it was actually invented you know for on ships you couldn't have uh, make bread daily on ships so they invented this uh, hard bread and you just got to soak it and uh, and that's what they would have daily on ships but uh, it's a pretty popular meal here in the province I tell you so and that's what we're going to have for our dinner uh, fish and brews starting to brown up nicer now just the smell of the pork and onions alone you know is really good a little saute there for a little while longer. Oh, that's a nice coffee. Once the onions get sauteed, it don't take very long. In just gotta fry it up a little bit. The fish and uh, and bruise and all the pork and onions together. And look out. Oh yeah, this is what we're this is what we're looking for here. And so what I'm gonna do. Not sure how well you can see that, but I took you some of the scrunching onions and that and got in and grease I got in this mug here. And it was slipped in the pot here. Next I'm gonna add the brews. Up to the hand. And this here is the corn fish. And like that's cooked. I cooked that before I came over and uh, took all the the bones out of it. Now I'm gonna keep stirring, fry all this up together here. And this is a good uh, a pot for stern because it got the rounded sides, so it was good for this. Now I'm gonna put some of this uh, pork and onions back in there. I never left quite enough in the pot, so I'll put another little tiny bit in there. Oh yeah, you hear that frying there? So what I'm going to do is just little fry a little bit, turn it, little fry a little bit, turn it, little fry a little bit, turn it like that, and it's going to be ready to go. Because, like I said, that fish has already been cooked, and the bruise is soaked overnight, and I warm them up a little bit before I come over. So uh, just got to cook all, cook it all up together. Well, finally ready. Uh, I tell you that uh, scotch bowl is great because uh, with the rounded sides, it really makes it easy to stir, and uh, you know the. The flavor of the cornfish along with the salt pork scrunchings and onions and, and the brews, uh, the combination all of it together, I tell you, is a, is a wonderful flavor and a really popular meal here in this province for sure. Of course. Time for, time for a taste test. Mmm. And that bit of scrunchings and onions that I put in the mug, I end up putting every bit of it back <laughs> back in the pot again. <laughs> mm. And on your fork, you want a bit of fish, a bit of bruise, a bit of pork and onions, a little bit of everything here. More please.